So when we were in Bonehead Island, we had the morning anoles, and now we have the morning chipmunks. So here's our first chipmunk of the day. It just crawled up out of the ivy into that little bush, and it's a pretty calm chipmunk. It's just hanging out. This is adorable. This is the longest one has ever stayed still for me. All right, I think we found like the A plus perfect place to come for breakfast basically for the rest of our lives. It is a vegan restaurant and they serve so many different foods. You walk in and it's just like this giant thing full of delicious looking mini gluten free option uh, desserts and pastries and things like that. And we're sitting on the outside tables and there's these beautiful plants behind us. There's trees. It's just gorgeous. I mean, look at that. There's dogs just like tied up and then the table has a cup of moss. <laughs> of all things, the table has a cup of moss sitting on it. So this is charming and beautiful. I mean, look at this. This is like me everywhere. And they even serve orange juice that's full pulp, which is exactly how I love it. So this is amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh. I say this is the fanciest vegan breakfast we've had so far. It's pretty good. Like, from a restaurant? Well, we have to see how it tastes. We do have to see how it tastes. We've got potatoes. We have the Josh bagel. It's like a morning bagel. And we have delicious... Oh, my gosh. The smell of that maple syrup. Mm -hmm. And this is actually vegan butter, too. So, we're going to dig in. All right. Chip says they're delicious. So, I'm going to take my first bite and see what I think. Mm-hmm. All right. I just have to say, these are the most delicious vegan pancakes I've had. And the fact that I'm walking distance to our new home... It's probably a little dangerous, but this is wonderful because it can be really hard to get like good vegan pancakes and these are just like crispy on the edges and they're soft and fluffy just the way you would want a pancake, but they absorb the maple syrup perfectly. So I could basically make a poem about these pancakes and they're fantastic and we're very happy and they're very filling. So we're actually going to take my little like everything bagel that we got and just take it for lunch. And we're gonna go look at the farmer's market in a minute. We walked right past this huge farmer's market with tons of plants, so I'm very excited. This is this is just totally me. I, I, I can put it in my purse. This is, so this is a gluten-free Mostis cake, cupcake that Chip's got because he loves chocolate. And they put it in this adorable little cup for transport to go, and I love it. And there's gardens right here, and then you can hear in the background, they've got a tiny little bell tower playing like a bell song. What would you call that? Just this, a song? No, this is the Star Spangled Bang. I know what it is, but like, what do you call it when it's ringing, but it's just a song? Well, it's playing, and it's, it's adorable. <laughs> He ran up to us. Oh, oh my gosh. Darling, do I have, I have the bagel. Oh my goodness. Darling, 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 darling. Is this, is this, did that really happen? Can I give him some of my bagel? Sure. Okay, I'm going to give him some of my bagel. Can we hold this? Hang on, I got it. Hang on, little guy. You got to hold your cupcake. And then I'm going to take out a little piece of my bagel and put it on the ground for him. Oh, darling. Maybe he wants, maybe he wants my, my spinach. Hi. Oh, he knows it's coming. Oh my gosh. Okay, where'd you go? Oh, he's so cute. Okay, he ran off. So much ivy that grows up so many of the campus buildings. And it's so pretty. Look at that. Oh my gosh.
There's even lilac bushes everywhere. I haven't seen proper big lilac bushes since I lived in Missouri. I forgot how pretty they were. These are so beautiful. We are in the peony garden in the Arboretum. And we're like a week away from peonies blooming. <laughs> there's a few early bloomers like this guy right over here. And there's a few more that we'll go look at over there. But this is gorgeous, you guys. So this is one of the main places I'm pretty sure I'll fall in love with. It's the Arboretum. That's how you say it, yeah? And it is full of plants. And we thought we saw a wild bunny that was really close to these girls. And it turned out it was a pet bunny on a leash. So I got a snippet of that. That was cute. And this is going to be fantastic because we'll be able to come here all year and look at how the plants are. It's a little bit of a walk. It's like a 40 minute walk from the house, but it's doable. And I'm just so excited. This is going to be amazing. So apparently all of the peonies here are actually the largest collection of peonies in one place in North America. And peonies happen to be one of my all time favorite plants. So this is amazing too. And then if you look at the signs, you can actually see the signs also come with Chinese characters on them because peonies are from China. And this is just amazing. So it's really fun because we're walking around and Chips is translating the signs and seeing how close the translation is as we walk by. And this peony over here is actually called green bean. It says green of beans, but it's the green bean peony. And I wish I could see it bloom because what if it's green? That would be so cool this name, Hycynthian Dragon Lying in Ink Pool. And that sounds like a poem unto itself. And then look at the flower. Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what is he? I thought it was a chipmunk. Is it a tiny squirrel? No, it's a chipmunk. Are you sure? He doesn't have any stripes. Mm -hmm. I think he's a tiny squirrel. He's a bobby squirrel. have found columbine flowers and these are some of my all-time favorite flowers. I am so excited. These are another one I haven't really seen much of since I moved out of the Midwest and I am shocked that they are here with all of my other favorite flowers too. This is just amazing. When they say there's some ravines here, they kind of mean it. Mm -hmm. And then is the Enterprising Chipmunk still there? <gasps> there he is! There's the tiniest little chipmunk over there. I see you, buddy. There he is. He's so cute. What? There's chipmunks everywhere. I am learning that Ann Arbor is basically chipmunk central. I have seen more chipmunks this morning than I have ever seen in my life. <gasps> there's so many chipmunks. I have found some deer hoof prints. So, there's definitely, these are much bigger than the ones that we had at Bald Head Island, so there's probably some big deer around here. Big old giant mushrooms hiding back there, and what the heck are those leaves? They're gigantic. I have no idea what they are, but they're beautiful. You can hear the rustling. <gasps> there's some cool mushrooms on the ground there too, and you can hear the rustling of like all these tiny little creatures in the ground. There's just chipmunks everywhere. I love this.
is so interesting. I've never seen this tree before. I have no idea what it is. But you can see the leaf is kind of like a little cup. And then there's insects all over this. So it must have an extremely sweet nectar. But it's very pretty. I really like this guy. But I mean, just look at him. It's an extremely unique looking tree. This is so cool. I'm gonna have to figure out what it is. Is it a vine? Maybe it's a vine. Look at these really big leaves on the sides everywhere. They're very, very large, as you can see. And it's really interesting because they have these little spots. I can't tell if more leaves are gonna come out of this or if maybe these are going to be like a flower of some kind. But I mean, look at that, and it's huge. I mean, here's my hand. They're really big. Man, this is going to be so much fun to learn all of the, the new plants and all of the new wildlife that's over here. So awesome! These are the little snake plants. I don't know what they're really called, but we used to call them snake plants uh, when I visited Utah. A family in Utah would call them that. And they're really cool because they're kind of like hollow cylinders. And you can actually pop the segments apart and put them back together. Of course, once you do that, the plant is no longer alive, but we used to play with them all the time. You would just like pull it up and pop the segments apart and put them back together. And it's just so awesome to see them here. My very first blue heron of Michigan. I am so happy, and it's so much smaller than the adults we have around our lake. It looks like a green heron, doesn't it, because it's so tiny. So it's either a juvenile or maybe they're just smaller here, but he's fishing over in this little like inset area where the trees have made almost like a, what would you call it? Like a, it would be tide pool if it was salt water. I don't know what you would call it if it's fresh water, but he's just over here fishing. And he's adorable. He's very, very small. But it's my first blue heron, so I'll have my blue heron buddies here too. And that makes me so happy. All right, so we went to breakfast and it was amazing. And we ended up with this bagel like sandwich, it's like Josh's bagel sandwich or something like that. And it has cashew cream cheese in it. So that it's like a vegan cream cheesy bagel sandwich with like all sorts of yummy green things in there. I actually picked off a lot of the bagel to feed to chipmunks on our way here. I probably shouldn't do that, so I won't do it again, but I couldn't help it because I was so excited. This place is like the city of chipmunks, and we have actually been out for a long time. We went to the farmer's market. We went to the Arboretum. Um, I got that really cute mug. May the forest be with you. I am so excited about that mug. Um, that's going to be a really fun one to hold up during vlogs. I've started noticing people really love to see the different teacups I hold up during our vlogs, and so I'm definitely going to be doing that, just like rotating teacups in the future. But this is delicious, by the way. It's amazing i know what they make daya cheese on the pizza out of now when you get like vegan pizza with cheese and it's daya cheese they make it out of cashews because this is like cashew uh sour cream and it's so good <laughs> i've never liked real sour cream like out of dairy this is amazing i would ask them if i could just buy it like in a tub or something and use it at home because it's so delicious but yeah we went to the arboretum we went to the farmer's market this is like paradise for me. There's chipmunks all over the place. This is literally the city of chipmunks. Uh, the Arboretum's beautiful. It had this huge peony field that I just know I'm gonna love. But the peonies are like a week out from blooming. Just, just barely. We're just gonna miss it by like a weekend, I think. But it was still really cool to come and see it. They are gonna have um, some Chinese music played uh, later when the peonies are blooming. And that would just be amazing to go to. Everything was so pretty there. We sat down. I saw my blue heron. You guys saw the blue heron. We sat down and Chips took a nap uh, on a bench next to the river for like half an hour. And it was so peaceful and relaxing. And it was so awesome. And we walked everywhere. We haven't been in the car since we got here yesterday. Um, yeah, after we drove to the, the, the house we're looking at for renting for the first time. Which we haven't heard back from. But we won't hear back from until Monday. And we really hope we get that place. Because it'd be just an hour away from 
from all of this. An hour away from the farmer's market, which is open every Saturday, and has a bazillion vegan things. Like every stall you look at, if it has baked goods or like other foods, it's also got vegan options and even gluten-free vegan options. And it was just ridiculously amazing to see that. So it really is like our paradise. I'm so excited. This is so delicious. We are going to be um, just wandering around town, maybe looking at another place or two just in case the other one doesn't go through uh, later today. But I'm happy, so happy. There's not an edge of my heart that is nervous or like wondering, could this really work out? Or full of regret over having to leave uh, North Carolina behind. I'm not ready to just like, bye North Carolina, see you later. But... I feel totally at peace with where the adventures and the journey and the future and the me that is going to become like me in Ann Arbor is, is going. I'm really, I'm happy about that. So more adventures, more delicious food. I'm really, people everywhere say Ann Arbor has delicious food and you think, oh yeah, everyone says their place has delicious food. No, there's really good food here. Like really good food, especially if you eat vegan. So I'm having a great time. We're just kind of resting now. It's really fun listening to the clock just go off at the bell tower like every 15 minutes it seems. And it's just a beautiful day. So this is awesome. Okay, this is a little bit random. We were just looking at another apartment just as like a backup to if the other place doesn't go through. And we get in the car right afterward and my sister calls me. She's at Worlds of Fun in um, Kansas City right now. And she just ran into Tom Felton and she's like freaking out and panicking on the phone to me. She's like, I just ran into Tom Felton. I almost tripped on him. <laughs> Cause they were just like running so quick and all of a sudden there was Tom Felton in front of her. So she was extremely excited. And for those of you guys who don't know, he played uh, Draco and Harry Potter and my sister we basically aged we were the age where we aged up with the movies that was her biggest crush like from tiny 10 year old age all the way up into like the late teen years so that she just stumbled on him in worlds of fun randomly is kind of amazing and I'm really happy for her so that's definitely a joy moment for my sister today and I thought I would save it for prosperity Alright, so it's been a really busy and kind of awesome day. Um, well, <laughs> I can't believe how much has happened. So we just got back from touring a, another apartment complex just to make sure if the place that we really, really fell in love with and really like from yesterday doesn't go through because you just never know what might happen. Uh, especially because the market here is like you have to have somewhere and be in it immediately because it just turns over so, so fast. But just in case that fell through, we went and looked at somewhere else and it was alright and we found the snapping turtle which was very exciting. It was just as we were getting ready to leave there was suddenly a snapping turtle on the side of the road and chips was awesome because he backed up immediately we found parking and ran up to watch the snapping turtle and the little ducks that we were a little worried it was coming towards so we'll see but then we came back into town and we went to salads up and we got these salads these are salads to go they make them in front of you you like pick what you want in it like what kind of lettuce you want I got romaine hearts because I love romaine lettuce a lot and then you pick all the things you want in it. I have like some rice, some edamame. I've got like little bits of tortilla chips, like little tortilla strips they put in instead of croutons. Um, it's got fresh squeezed lemon all over it. Really yummy looking. So we picked that up. It was so cool. It all moved really quickly or else I would have gotten my camera out because they actually like pour your lettuce onto a chopping board and they like chop it up with these big giant sort of like uh, crescent shaped knives that they just kind of hold and like tch, 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 tch. it was really cool and then we came back and we found this andrew bar it's like a gluten-free peanut butter it's got peanut butter and like chex mix in the back and then it's got chocolate on top so these are going to be like very decadent dessert like desserts i've had a bite of chipses and it's really good it kind of reminds me of like soft peanut brittle with chocolate on top of it so i'm gonna like Peck away at this very slowly because this is a lot of chocolate for me. I'm not much of a chocolate person, but it's just kind of fun. Everywhere we turn, even when we picked up like those magazines that you can see all over campuses, um, this is like the Wisdom Community Journal for Conscious Living in southeastern Michigan, and we picked it up. There's an ad on the back for a community co-op that we kind of saw this morning. We walked by it when we were looking at the farmer's market, and right there, like in the bakery, in-house bakery made fresh daily, vegan and gluten-free options always available. It's amazing. <laughs> it's just a community that really 
seems to support the kind of lifestyle we have and it's just so quirky and charming and there's gardens and plants and trees everywhere and chipmunks all over the place and it's really amazing so now that we've done so much today we're going to kind of like rest a little bit maybe walk around campus a little bit more later and just kind of get ready and gear down and then tomorrow we're really hoping to hit some of the museums and some of the gardens but it's stunning to me that we've been here for just a little over 28 hours or 24 hours <laughs> maybe it has been 28 hours i'm just being really specific but we've been here for about 24 hours and we've already found a place that we've kind of fallen in love with and we've already applied for so we really hope we get it we'll find out monday like either before we leave or as we're leaving or as we get back into north carolina i already found amazing places oh my gosh the lunchroom where we had our breakfast that's dangerous that it would be within walking distance to our house because it's amazing food. It was all so good. That poppy seed bagel was fantastic, except for the fact we got poppy seeds all over the bed because we ate it on the bed, so don't do that. Um, and then just, yeah, I'm excited, so I'm going to dig into my salad. Is your salad good? <laughs> it salad's good. I'm going to dig into my salad. And it's just, there's something refreshing when you eat like a, in a certain diet lifestyle to know that there's support and there's like options so you're not just trapped eating the same two things on repeat and it's just a beautiful place and the peonies oh if only it was like a week later then a we would have missed the magic house that i absolutely have fallen in love with so i'm glad it's not a week later but b we would have seen the peony garden in full bloom and i can't wait till next year because we will see it no matter where we live next year i'll be able to see that garden in bloom and share it with you guys so i'm really really happy <laughs>